Hi guys, it's Monica Blunder, a makeup artist. So today's makeup tutorial is a great look for the homecoming dance or if you're going to a party or if you're going dancing. I have a great model. Her name is Francesca. Francesca is my very good friend's daughter from Germany. She's only 15. She's so cute, so pretty. And I think she has the perfect look for this makeup tutorial. I'm so excited I can do it on her. And the makeup definitely has some glitter involved, some eyeliner, really, really pretty, fun fuchsia lip color. I hope you love this video. Now, I love it when you leave me comments. Leave me some feedback. Please don't forget to subscribe. Thumb up my video and I see you next time. I am starting with applying this Naked Skin Foundation by Urban Decay and I chose the color 5.0 for you and I'm going to just pump it on my hand and then I'm going to apply it with a little bit of a brush by Sigma and I'm just applying it all over your face just a very thin layer you're so young and like you have such great skin so I don't want to really cover that up and I don't know if you've watched my other video with Francesca but Francesca is here as an exchange student from Germany how are you liking it so far in America oh it's very nice yeah very different but I like it oh good and then I'm going to just groom your eyebrows a little bit and for that I'm using the MAC pencil by lingering so I'm gonna first brush them up a little bit and uh, your eyebrows are a little bit uneven like I said this also before in your other video, we just have to really fill this side in a little bit more. I also want to create this arch in here. And then I'm going to move on to your eyes. And I'm first starting off with this MAC product by Painterly. It's called Painterly MAC. And this is a primer. It also has a little bit of this flesh color to it. And I really like this product because especially if you tend to have a little bit of redness around your eye or broken blood vessels or anything red it just makes it all even and then i'm going to move on and i'm using this dior product and this is just a black eyeliner it has this really nice felt tip right in the front so it's really it makes it very easy to apply the eyeliner i'm just going to do a thin line close to the lash line now, if you make a little mistake, it's no problem. You can just go in with a Q-tip and clean it up afterwards. You can also bring it in the front. We'll have this area in here very thin. And then you can just flick it out a tiny bit. And then come back inwards. And then this is also a liquid liner in a pen form. So remember when you put it on, sometimes it's still wet and when you open your eye, it can kind of go everywhere. So just be very careful when you open your eye. And on top of that, I'm going to use this really fun Urban Decay glitter eyeliner. So it's nice to start off with the black so you have a nice base and you have something to layer the glitter eyeliner on top of. So I'm basically just putting this product on top of the black liner. Now it's also important that you let the black eyeliner completely dry. Like I said, it was liquid. These eyeliners also come in really fun other colors. I chose this golden color because I thought it'll match your skin color really nicely. But they come in literally every color, blue and pinks and greens and you name it. But I love the combination of the black and the gold. You should have curled your lashes earlier, which I think um, everyone at home, before you do this eye makeup, you should really curl them at first. But we won't curl your lashes today. We're just going to put some mascara on top of it. I chose this mascara by Lancome, and it's called Hypnose Doll Eyes. I think this is a limited edition. I'll just put a few coats of this mascara on top of it. We're also going to use some lashes, so... Actually, I'm just going to do one coat right now and then I'm going to do your lashes and then we can put another coat of mascara on. I'm going to use these lashes called Babies in black. 
just put some glue on the lashes I use this dual glow and then you just let it like you know you wait for 15 seconds for the glue to get tacky and then we're gonna apply the strip of lashes on you put them as close as you can to your lash line open a little bit we'll move this out this way and we'll tuck them in with the tweezers Now you can see there's a little bit, you know, residue from the glitter right in here. It's very easy to fix. You just go in with a Q-tip. We'll put some eye makeup remover on it. We'll clean that area a little bit. I'm going to contour your face a tiny bit right now, and I'm using this Chanel product, and it is called Le Beige in number 50. And for that, I'm going to use a little bit of a contouring brush. And then go like that. I'm just gonna bring that color right in your hollows of your cheekbones. Just to give you a little bit of shape in your cheeks. So bring it up a little bit in our forehead, right around the temples. And then you just blend it with a blending brush. And I'm also going to put a little bit of a bronzer on top of that with a little bit of a shimmer in it by Urban Decay and the color is called Baked. This is the product. This is what it looks like. I'm going to apply that as my blush. A little bit on her forehead, a little bit around the chin. Okay, so we'll move on to your lips. Uh, for that, I'm going to use this Dr. Halschke product. Everyone, if you have seen my videos, I adore this product. This is a lip balm. I love the way how it smells, the texture. I'm going to use a bright pink lip color on you. It's Tarte. I've also used it before in my videos, one of my favorite lip pencils. Again, it's a very matte product, so you have to moisturize your lips before you use that. This product you can really manipulate. You can make it really strong and very vibrant looking or you can make it look like it's just a stain. So I want it to look more like a stain. So I'm applying it and then I'm taking my finger and I'm pushing the product into the lip and I'm moving it around and it just makes it more natural looking. So I'm just gonna use this Makeup Forever Aqua Lip Liner just a little bit on top of it just to give your lips a little bit more shape. With those pencils sometimes the way how they're shaped it's really hard to get into your edges you know so it's better sometimes to just use a finer lip liner on top of it beforehand. And uh, this is the final look for the fun evening makeup or the homecoming dance or any kind of fun evening makeup. Enjoy it and I see you next time.